Botanical used in Aviation American Gin, we have juniper, which is again uh, the requisite spice. We also use coriander, which is the seed of cilantro, dried. Uh, we use French superior lavender. We also use uh, cracked cardamom. Uh, we use Indian sarsaparilla, we use anise seed, we use and then two types of orange peel, both a bitter and a sweet orange peel as well. It kind of rounds out the flavor. This one's full of orange peel and sarsaparilla, lavender. We suspend them in the liquid for 18 hours. Then the next day when we go to distill it, we pump the macerate. At this point, it's, it's picked up a lot of color and a lot of flavor. We pump it over to the gin still. We, uh, pump half of the macerate in, so about 135 gallons of the macerate, along with water to bring it down to about 30% alcohol. At our pot still, uh, we're making our heads cut at the very beginning, collecting our hearts throughout the run, and at the very end using our, our uh, I guess, empirically trained noses and uh, palates to make the final cut on the gin for our tails. Steam heating jacket underneath here and one on the bottom. Bring it up in temperature. Hot alcohol vapor comes into contact with the insides of those tubes, which are cold from the cooling water. It condenses down into a liquid, flows down through this spirit safe, and then from the spirit safe down into the receiver. Uh, we're able to take samples. We end up with about 140 gallons of uh, distillate at the end of the run and that's at about 100 and 142 to 144 proof. From filling the still to emptying the still takes about seven hours. We uh, transfer it over into a blending tank. We're always adding more batches and then removing bat uh, quantities into this bottling tank. We add water to get it down from 142 proof down to 84 proof. From the bottling tank, it's pumped into this filler. Each bottle is filled to a certain a specified level, and then we manually place the caps and tension them. Then we put the uh, front label on, and then a cap strip. Then it goes from there over to fill the boxes and tape the boxes and palletize. It takes four people seven hours to fill 300 six-packs. 